Sukhlal Sungvi (1880–1978), also known as Pandit Sukhlalji, was a Jain scholar and philosopher. He belonged to the Stanakvasi sect of Jainism. Pandit Sukhlal lost his eyesight at the age of 16 on account of smallpox. However, he overcame this handicap and became profoundly versed in Jain logic and rose to become a professor at Banaras Hindu University. Paul Dundas calls him one of the most incisive modern interpreters of Jain philosophy. Dundas notes that Sanghavi represents what now seems to be a virtually lost scholarly and intellectual world. He was a mentor for famous Jain scholar Padman of Jaini. During his lifetime he won such awards as the Sahitya Akademi Award and won recognition from the Government of India by getting Padma Bhushan Award. Sukhlalji was also known as Pragnachaksu because he was so vastly learned despite being visually challenged. Early life Sukhlal was born in the village of Limali village of Surendranagar district, Gujarat on 8 December 1880, fifth day of the bright day of the month of Margshirsh in Vikram Samvat 1937. He belonged to Visa Shramali Vanik community, merchant community of Gujarat. Talshi Sungvi and his first wife Manaben were his parents. His mother died when he was four years old. He was raised in Limdi by his distant relative, Muljabai from Sela. He lost his eyesight following smallpox infection when he was 16. This made him more introspective and he devoted his life to learning. <laughs> <laughs> learning He attended discourses of Jain monks, and studied scriptures with the help of a reader. In 1904, he joined Sri Yashavajaya Jain Sanskrit Pathshala at Benares. Within three years he committed to memory the whole of Siddha Hema Vyakarana. Besides grammar, he studied Tarkasamraha, Muktavali, and Vyaptichakra with various commentaries. He also became well conversant with epics like Raghuvamsha, Maghakavya, and Naishatacharitam, besides Alamkarashastra and Kosha. For further studies he went to Mathila in 1911, and then to Kashi where he devoted himself to a study of philosophy and literature. Later, he went to Agra where he edited important Jain works like Panchapratikramana, the first four karma granthas of Devendrasuri, and Yogadarsana and Yogavimshika of Haribhadra Suri. After passing Nyayakarya examination he continued to teach at Jain Pathshalas where his students included future scholar monks like Muni Jinvijay, Muni Lalitvijay and Muni Punyavijay. Career as a scholar and a philosopher In 1922 he joined Puritattva Mandir of Gujarat Vidyapith as professor of Indian philosophy. Here he edited Sanamatitarka of Siddhasena Devakara in five volumes containing valuable indices and appendices. He was assisted by Pandit Bashardeshi in this task. From 1933 to 1944 he was a professor of Jain philosophy at Benares Hindu University. He devoted most of his time to writing and editing a number of valuable works in Sanskrit, Hindi, and Gujarati. He edited Tattvarthasutra and Nyayavatara in Gujarati with texts and translations. He edited Pramana Mimamsa by Hemakandra, with detailed introduction and notes. He not only corrected the original readings with the help of the photocopies of the original manuscripts but also gave other comparative readings. He critically edited Jayarashi's Tatavapaplava, a systematic work of Charvakas which brought him wide recognition. He threw new light on the history of Buddhist philosophy by editing Archada's commentary on Dharmakirti's Hetubindu. After retirement from Banaras Hindu University in 1944, he came back to Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan where he worked with Jain monk Akarya Jinavijayaji. In 1957, Sukhlalji was invited by the M.S. University of Baroda to deliver five lectures on Indian philosophy, which were published in Gujarati 1951, Hindi 1971, and English 1977. His scholarly lectures or Atma Paramatma and Sadhana delivered at Gujarat Vidyasabha were also published in Hindi and Gujarati under the title of Adhyatma Vicharana. The University of Bombay also invited him for lectures on Acharya Haribhadra, which were published both in Gujarati 1961 and in Hindi 1966. Topic: <laughs> Legacy and Influences. 
Young Sukhlalji was inspired by the writings of Pandit Nathuram Premi, who was to become a close family friend. Sukhlalji was non-sectarian in his attitude and shared a good rapport with many Digambara scholars like Pramiji and observed their mutual respect. He Pramiji was considered to be a pandit, a scholar of Jain tradition. To me it was a surprise. How could his writings be so impartial and audacious? I had come in contact with many Jain friends and scholars, but until then, excepting a few, I had not come across any scholar who was as non-sectarian or fearless as Pramiji. So I had developed the perception that it was impossible to find a Jain scholar who was non-sectarian as well as fearless. Pramiji's writings gradually made me realize that I had the wrong notion. This was the foremost reason for me to be attracted towards him. We had an excellent understanding of traditions of one another but we had no sectarian complicities. Sukhlalji also mentored three scholars of Jainism, Mahendrakumar Nyayakarya, Padmanab Jaini and Dalsik Malvaniya. Out of these, the second and third were his direct students. Sukhlalji always insisted on learning of Pali Canon for understanding Jainism and encouraged young Padmanab Jaini to visit Sri Lanka to study Buddhism. Author B. K. Matalal notes that Sukhlalji advocated a non-partisan historical comparative study of any Sanskrit philosophical text and noted in his preface to Advanced Studies in Indian Logic and Metaphysics 1961. I became firmly convinced that the study of any philosophical system inevitably demands certain prerequisites and these prerequisites include a fairly accurate understanding of the historical inter-relationships between the various philosophical systems of India. He was known for his vast learning, sound scholarship, remarkable memory and for being a very ethical and conscientious person. Pandit Sukhlalji worked with a vast array of scholars and was good friends with all of them, despite not always agreeing with them. Some of the luminaries he worked with include, Muni Jinavijaya, Muni Punyavijaya, Akarya Primi Suri, Pandit Nathuram Primi, Pandit Hugakishore Mukhtar, Dr. Hiralal Jain, Dr. A. N. Upadhya, Dr. Mahendrakumar Nyayakarya, Professor. Dr. Padmanab Jaini, Dr. Dalsik Malvania and Dr. Nagan J. Shaw. <laughs> Awards and doctorates He was awarded Vijaj Dharm Sori Jain Sahitya Gold Medal in 1947. He was honored by the degree of D.Lit by the Gujarat University in 1957, the Sardar Patel University in 1967 and the Saurashtra University in 1973. His admirers had formed Pandit Sri Sukhlalji Saman Samiti in his honor and he was honored in 1957 at Bombay under the presidency of Dr. Radhakrishnan. He was given a bag of 70,000 rupees on this occasion. Pandit G formed Nanadaya Trust with this amount and decided to use this amount for the expansion and creation of Indian religion and philosophy. The Sahitya Akademi, India's National Academy of Letters, awarded him the Sahitya Akademi Award and prize of 5,000 rupees for his Darshan and Chintan, a compilation of philosophical essays in 1958. The government of Bombay also gave him prize for this work. The Government of India granted him pension in 1961 by giving him Certificate of Honour for Sanskrit. The Government of India honoured him by awarding Padma Bhushan in 1974. He was awarded the title of Vidya Variti by Nav Naland of Vihar of Bihar in 1975. President of India, Dr. Radhakrishnan, himself a reputed philosopher and scholar, paid glowing tributes to Sukhlalji by saying that his life was that of an ascetic performing Jainanayajna. Worship of knowledge. Works Sukhlalji was a prolific writer. He edited and translated many texts from Sanskrit to Gujarati and Hindi. A partial list of his works is enumerated below Translation of Umasvati's Tattvarthasutra in Gujarati and Hindi. Sungvi, Sukhlal Commentary on Tattvarthasutra of Vikeka Umasvati. Trans, by K. K. Dixit. Ahmedabad, LD Institute of Indology. Translation and editing of Sanmatitarka of Siddhasena Devakara. Translation and editing of Kurta Vidavadadvatrimsaka of Siddhasena Devakara. S. Devakara and S. Sungvi. 
Siddhasena Devakara Kurta Vidavadadvatrimsaka. Mumbai, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavana. Translation and editing of Nyayavatara Sutra of Siddhasena Devakara on Jain logic, Sanskrit text and Gujarati explanation. Siddhasena Devakara and Suhalala Sungvi, 1995. Nyayavatara Sutra. Sri Svetambara Murtipuyaka Boarding Granthamala, 7. Ahmedabad, Saradabina Simanabai Educational Research Series. Pacifism and Jainism. Publisher, Jain Cultural Research Society, Banaras Hindu University, 1950. Samaj Dharma and Sanskriti, Samaja Dharma and Sanskriti Publisher, Gura Granthratna Karyalaya, Ahmedabad. Anakant Chintan, Anakanta Santana Publisher, Gura Granthratna Karyalaya, Ahmedabad. Karmaranth of Devendrasuri, four parts Karmvapak Karmstav Banswamitva and Shad Shittak, translation in Hindi from Sanskrit. Publisher, Parshvanath Vidyashram, Varanasi. See also Jain philosophy Tattvartha Sutra <laughs>